he is still. I, hang on. Hey, gentlemen, what's going? Um, <laughs> right, one sec. <laughs> You're right. Okay. Okay, I'll deal with it. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. Okay, don't be weird. What's that? No, you can't hang out with my, my cats. Gentlemen, that was your weird Uncle Barry, and we've got to talk. Apparently, Barry's worried about you and your style. He doesn't want you being released after this quarantine back into the spicy senorita wild like a tiger with all sorts of style jacked up mistakes. Gentlemen, that ends today because I'm hooking you and Barry up. I'm going over 10 style mistakes men are making. Still making in 2020. I call this list the terrible top 10 because I've talked about all 10 of these terrible style mistakes, but apparently you're not listening or quarantine has got you all twisted. It all starts with number one. The homemade t-shirt tank. Sup girl. <laughs> no sup girl. No sup girl. Because there's no sides, right? It's just a big baggy mess, right? And so as a result, you got all this bagging here making my shoulders appear more narrow. Another reason why I should never wear these is it makes you look like you got boobies, right? We all got a little extra like me here, right? Booby fat. You got it. I got it. We all got it. And when you rock these, you don't look like you got pecs. You look like you got boobies. Number two, many buttons. <laughs> Do you like that? Two many <laughs> I'm a dork. So here's the deal. I need you to do something for me, all right? I want you to look down. If you're wearing a Henley, if you're wearing a polo, if you're wearing a button-up Oxford, I want you to look down. How much man cleavage are you exposing? The answer is none, Alf. I want you to reach up and I want you to do this. Ready? Ready? Watch. It's not hard. Ready? Watch. Ready? Boom. Do you see Do you see that? Nothing will instantaneously take your sexiness from like a 6 to an 11.5, like exposing a little more cleavage. Number three is a sloppy sleeve roll. For some reason, the sloppy sleeve roll is still happening even in 2020, even though everybody knows or should know by now that women find men's forearms incredibly sexy, all right? So here's the deal. Instead of this action, the way that you are properly going to roll your sleeve to maximize your forearm sexiness, gentlemen, and the cleanness of the roll is like this, ready? You take your sleeve, boom, right? Pull it up there, right? Just like that. And then you're going to take this thumb, right? Put it there, these fingers under here, and then you're going to tuck and you're going to move and you're going to tuck and you're gonna move work it all the way around and what you're left with is a super clean sexy roll all right now the question is which one looks better which one makes my forearm look better and the answer is this one of course all right the roll is cleaner the roll also makes my forearm appear larger and more muscular as opposed to this gentlemen go here not here the fourth style mistake I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna show you and then we're gonna practice all right what it is is an improper partial tuck. Gentlemen, check it out, right? Does that look right to you? The answer is hell no. The partial tuck, all right, the way that it's going to work, you're gonna lift up your shirt, right? And then see where that little belt loop is? You're going to just very gently tuck a little, little, little tiny bit in right there. And then you're going to let it drape over. This is a proper partial tuck, all right? Not dead center, off center. The partial tuck is your way of allowing your belt to say, sup. Sup. You see it? Sup. Exactly. Now your turn. Let me see. All right. Let me see. Okay. Whoa. Oh, oh God. Oh, I don't. I don't want your belt to say sup because you're doing the fifth thing wrong, which is not rocking an Anson belt. Gentlemen, here's the deal. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't even know you if you're not rocking an Anson because, quite frankly, there is no other way that your belt is going to look sexy unless you rock an Anson. Gentlemen, the reason why Anson belts are single-handedly changing the style game of millions of men across this glorious land of ours, even during quarantine, gentlemen, is because they got no holes to get all jacked up. Notice, no holes. How does that work? How does that happen? The answer is the track system, gentlemen. Micro adjustments. Anson belts are the greatest belts. The thing that I love so much about Anson, guys, is that not only are they super clean and sexy, they're timeless, and they've got a crazy selection of incredible straps. Hello, my name is Alpha, and I am an Ansaholic. I'm addicted to these damn belts, gentlemen. Of course, Anson belts has all of your standard leather.
leathers, right? They've got black, they've got brown, they've got suede, they've got gray, they've got every color leather you could possibly imagine. So if you've got like a hard to match shoe, guys, they've got you covered. But the thing that I love so much about Ants that are these damn fabric belts. A few of my favorite fabric belts, guys, that I absolutely love, this camo, it, for whatever reason, it works with like so many things. It also works and coordinates with a lot of brown boots and it's just a cool, funky belt. Something else I love, this blue and red fabric stripe, ridiculous. Also, you can't go wrong with the solid black. It looks incredible. Another one of my go-tos with like jeans and a white polo, guys, this looks amazing. One of my favorite belts, right? It's this gray Anson belt with the matte black classic Anson buckle. Speaking of buckles, all Anson buckles are interchangeable. Check it out, right? What? Exactly. And then if I'm like, yo, I want to make a super sexy like green and black belt, guys, check it out. It's that simple. And Anson belt has a ton of different buckles. They've got black, they've got steel, they've got gunmetal, they've got silver, they've got gold, guys, they've got brush, they've got shiny, you name it, they've got it. Guys, right now, there's a link down below to Anson belt. Go and check it out. The best deal that they've got going is the box set where you get to pick two buckles, three straps, or three buckles, two straps for under a hundred bucks. Here's an Anson belt that I recently got. All right, it's got the silver buckle, but this one's a little bit special. They recently started doing like Italian leather. Ugh, it smells so good. It's Italian calfskin. It's super soft, guys. This belt is ridiculous. The other beautiful thing about Anson, guys, check it out. One size fits all. And so when you get them, all you got to do, guys, is thread them through, measure it, cut them, and attach your buckle, and you're good to go looking sexy as That's right. I said it. Anson belts are sexy as Link below, hit it. Box set is the best deal on the planet. The sixth style mistake that I, I, I can almost understand, right? Because <laughs> when you're rocking a sick ass pair of shades, gentlemen, you don't ever want to take them off. But if you are inside more than three steps when you enter a building and you're rocking and still wearing your shades, you are a douche. The seventh style mistake that apparently people are still rocking in 2020 is buying cheap shoes. Now, I'm not saying that you need to spend a lot of money on your shoes in order to have great shoes. There are a lot of incredible affordable options out there. But if you are buying dress shoes that are actually like cheap and not real leather and poorly constructed, unless you're vegan and you're like, yo, I don't do leather, save your money. Save up a little bit and buy a higher quality pair. The truth is, if you can stretch your budget over $100 into that like $150 range, like Johnson Murphy's, there are some incredible brands that are going to be affordable and not break the bank, but they're going to be so much better in terms of quality. The shoes are going to last longer, they're going to be more comfortable, and typically, they're going to look better. Speaking of shoes, the eighth style mistake that you're still rocking in 2020 is not tying them properly. All right, gentlemen, let me show you how to properly tie your shoe. Most people, when they tie their shoe, they go here, they make a bow, and then they go over top, right, and then through, and right there and what happens is the bow lays diagonal across the shoe and as you walk it tends to loosen up instead here's how i want you to do it all right same basic step as before tie make a bow instead of over you're going under right and then when you pull the bow check it out right look what happens the bow lays cleanly over your shoe. And when you walk, it actually tightens the bow so it doesn't come untied. The ninth style mistake that you could potentially still be doing in 2020, cause I see dudes doing it, is sports shirts. Shirts like Under Armour, those super sexy tight shirts that make you look like a superhero in your head. In your mind, you're like, yo, I look all jacked. And in reality, you look like a sausage. Love handles. Everybody who rocks these shirts, you look at them from behind and they've got these like meaty love handles hanging over because the shirt's too tight, the fabric's too sheer, it's shiny, gentlemen, it's a disaster. Don't do it. And last, but certainly not least, the 10th style mistake that Barry was really upset about is not rocking enough shirts with tigers. I can't believe I'm saying this, but Barry, Barry's right about this one. Wearing a shirt or even a blazer with any type of wild cat on it lets the woman know that you are at your core an animal, a tiger ready to pounce. And her in her head, a helpless gazelle running and prancing. All of a sudden she sees big bad tiger you and she's like, oh no, not me. Don't catch me. Catch me. Where are you going? Get it, get it, get it. Get it. You're welcome.